Today I want to bring you a new topic, which is permaculture. And hopefully in the future we will be able to talk more about it and visit other places. But today we're gonna focus to tell you about the Lactama Chat, where we have been the last holidays. And the first topic is just to give you an impression of why people come and do a permaculture course. So we asked our classmates and we begin with Kimberly and Lawrence from England who will tell us their reasons why they start doing a permaculture course. Take a look. Take a look. Just randomly one of you starts and where do you come from, what do you do and what are your expectations for the course, just like this by yourself. Yeah, I'm Lawrence and this is my fiance Kimberly and we are well, we have been living in Asia, working. Uh, in the, I've been working in the corporate world. Kimberly was a teacher, and we recently quit um, and go into Portugal to start a self-sustainable community. So I've been studying permaculture online. I've watched like every YouTube video on how to make a compost toilet that I could find, <laughs> and everything else to do with permaculture, mm -hmm. um, and. We go to Portugal in April to start, really, and we just wanted to get some hands-on experience and learn what we don't know. Yeah. So, what are your expectations in front of this course? I think just getting a basic foundation on um, how to start permaculture on our own land, how to create a community, and I think that's what Bo has just been talking about now, which is really good. My expectations are really open-minded, because I've got really no idea about any of this. This is Lawrence has been doing all the studying, um, so this is going to be a real crash course for me to get into it. And um, yeah. So as you're already into it, what do you? What do you have any specific expectations for this course? I just want to get some hands-on experience and opportunity to ask people questions because I always read and watch on YouTube and then have questions but no one's, no one's asked so mm. I, I haven't really got any expectations mm. I just I want to learn what I don't know <laughs> that's yeah. what I always say but Lawrence has been doing things like composting on our roof in Singapore and had a mini garden we had worms as well a worm compost and it's sort of he's put that into practice in a small scale and so now we can see how it works on a really large scale I think that's going to be an eye-opener I think won't it yeah and like the composting toilets and things like that would be, that's really important for us to know yeah. for when we get there. Yeah. My name's Emmy. Um, I'm on the permaculture design course. It was all a last minute decision for me to come because um, I was going to do this course back in England because. I, I would like one day to live in my own country, so I figured to learn about permaculture in that environment and that temperature would be a better idea. But um, at the last minute, I decided to come here because it was reasonable price. And um, I, my reason for doing this is because I've, I've been interested in permaculture um, for many years, and I read, um, I'm, I do construction, and I'm a, gar a landscape gardener. And I would like to build my own house one day. I've, des I've designed my own house. Um, so any learning that's about construction or the land and the lay of the land and how to live more in harmony with the land is really interesting to me. Um, also, like it's obvious the damage we're doing to our planet and our world around us. So if we can, if we can all tread a bit lighter, and p permaculture is a whole umbrella term that gives us some tools to do that. And I'm, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. And I think that permaculture is really good for people like me and is a, a, a way of branching out and seeing how my, my toolkit can help me live <laughs> and have a good life. I teach uh, part of the permaculture, not the whole thing yet. I teach uh, soil management and uh, soil ecosystem. I teach holistic animal husbandry, uh, bee, I'm the beekeeper here, we have beehives here, so I teach the beekeeping class and uh, the other lecture is plant propagation.
and then I'll start teaching some of the uh, practicals in the mornings on this course. Uh, my past is totally unrelated to permaculture other than loving nature. I was in the military when I was younger. I worked as uh, I was a military policeman in the military and I worked as an electrician and a police officer. So most of my career, I guess my main profession is law enforcement, more or less, and that's a complete transition. My German friend Sandbau down in Koh Samui will tell you from the day he met me to now, like completely different person, completely changed around. But to me, I'm still the same person with just different perspectives on life. I'm Izzy, I'm from Germany. I come from Munich and um, I'm a student right now. And I come to do this course because I want to learn more about permaculture. And I already took one course in Germany and it was great information, but I think you can always learn more on the topic. And I think if I had the money, I would probably do five PDCs and um, yeah, the teacher will be different, the people will be different, so I'm pretty curious what it will be like and yeah. So why are you so into permaculture? Um, I read the, the book about the alternative Nobel Prize and Bill Mollison got the, the prize for permaculture and when I read it, I felt so um, interested um, as, as soon as I read the introduction to permaculture. It's just, um, it's just an, another uh, way of seeing life and yeah. My Chinese name is Hu Die. Um, well, I live in China. I'm from Venezuela, but I work in China as a, an English teacher, sometimes as a Spanish teacher too. Right now I'm in Thailand. I came with Hannah Fan to CQ to join a permaculture course. We're supposed to learn a lot of techniques to make natural to do natural building possible organic farming, all in harmony with the, with the environment. We're also we're going to learn how to make soap, shampoo, work with bees, how to make cheese, how to make yogurt, how to, how to um, cultivate um, mushrooms. We're going to learn how to make the, the bricks with adobe. And in general, <coughs> make designs. So, uh, to be honest, I, I just know a lot of um, theory, but I have no practice. So this course is um, offering me to put my hands on work. And that's what I am really expecting to see how good I can get. A gecko! Oh no, it's a butterfly. My name is Jan. I'm uh, 34 years old. I'm from Germany, from Berlin. And um, I heard about permaculture. I saw some videos. I read some stuff about it. I was uh, very fascinated by it because um, I feel it's a different approach on um, agriculture. Like it sees more things connected and and. Um, yeah, I feel that life in the whole is very much connected and you Yeah, and uh, also for me I'm attracted to permaculture because I want to know more about nature. Um, how is it working, all the stuff with the soil and the microbacteria and I don't know, to build stuff and to become more like self-sustainable. Yeah, I'm just interested in learning these things and so my expectations are to learn some things <laughs> about this and, and um, also to be with nature, to, to create something and to learn fr from nature and about it.
Yeah. And also, um, I don't know where it will end, but uh, I feel I want to integrate it in my life somehow. So I'm Hanafan and I'm from Germany. Right now I'm teaching English in China, in Zhengzhou. And um, I arrived like three days ago together with Hudir here in Thailand. And we want to do this permaculture course because we hope that the knowledge here will help us to realize our projects in Mozambique, in Africa. Yeah, so we hope that this knowledge here will help us to develop uh, sustainable living in accordance with nature and that we can teach the people over there also to grow their vegetables in a sustainable way in accordance with nature without destroying the environment. Okay, that's it for a day. I hope you liked it and you got a general idea why people come and do a permaculture course and you're looking forward just like us to learn more about it. Yeah, we would be really happy if you could uh, leave your comments below about what is permaculture to you and your experiences with it. Yeah, thank you very much and see you next time. See you. Bye bye.